Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan Green. Uh, I'm shooting this video for Animal just to kind of discuss staying in shape. Um, yeah, so for me, um, I've been able to really keep my body in good shape, relatively lean, um, really like all this last year. And here's a couple of the things that have really helped me to do it. So I'm just gonna kind of break it down for you guys. This isn't a cooking video, but I have a bunch of the stuff in my kitchen. This is actually, this is actually at Boss Barbell. We're at, at my work. I'm here most of the day, most days of the week. And so, I mean, guys, this is really simple. One, you need a nutrition plan. That's, that's a given. You can't just kind of like guess. You're gonna have to kind of have someone help you or kind of learn over time uh, or just kind of like read up on it yourself, but you do need a strategy and it's gonna evolve over time. Um, what I've kind of gotten to for myself that works, I think, best, I like to keep my my protein high, so it's gotta be about a gram per pound of body weight. So, um, you know, if you're 250 pounds, that's 250 grams of protein per day. A little bit higher, lower is fine, but it can't be like under 200. It can't be like, you know, 20% off the mark or worse. Uh, with that said, the next thing you guys need to do with all these, you know, once you kind of figure out sort of like a, a guideline for like macros, which is, you know, proteins and carbs and, and fats, you need to do an honest assessment and kind of figure out approximately how much you're actually having. So you need to sort of figure out the portions that you eat and then you need to look up what those, um, what those portions of what foods have what amounts of nutritional content, what macros. So with that said, you kind of need to organize your meals. And so for me, um, my meals are kind of organized around, you know, like eating about five times a day and plus snacks in between. Uh, so in order to do that, the next really, really big thing is being pretty organized. Um, I think anyone who's watched stuff on animals knows what uh, meal prep is, but it doesn't have to be this like big formal complex and intimidating kind of thing. Uh, but then again, you know, uh, I'm not like a natural born cooking uh, master. I've Every time I learn a recipe and kind of refine it a little bit, it, it's kind of exciting because <laughs> it's kind of a big deal for me. But um, I'm pretty handy on my grill, and um, I've, I've recently kind of gotten pretty big on just cooking like ground beef and ground turkey. Um, and that's kind of, as last year, like the prices of steak went up a lot. I decided it's too expensive, even for Costco. So switched over. And, and actually what I found is I really like when my macros, like I said, I like to have about a pound, a gram per pound of body weight of uh, protein but I also prefer to keep my fat pretty low. Um, I was kind of at about a 25% fat for the macros, but what I kind of realized is if I got leaner ground beef and leaner turkey and stuff like that, I could still get a lot of the nutritional value from those foods and uh, not have to like eat a lot of chicken. <laughs> so um, chicken is fine, but I don't think nutritionally there's a lot going for it so you need to supplement it with some stuff like you know animal pack uh, but any rate i like to get as much of my nutrition from food and then use the supplements as well so here's the here's the big thing is you got to prep the meats so when i go to like target or costco or wherever i like to buy the, the ground beef and ground turkey that's like 93 percent lean and about seven percent fat that's uh that's good because the more I keep the fat low to consume protein, the more carbs I can eat. And the more carbs I can eat, the better I feel and the better my training goes. Carbs are really well if you can kind of regiment them throughout the day and you don't overindulge or kind of hit uh, spots where you're like craving them. So I eat a lot of fruit on top of that, which is more fructose, but um, it's also a little bit of fiber and that feels good too. Guys, here's, a, here's my table. This is just a couple things that I have. So normally my first meal of the day is I kind of snack on some yogurt. So you can see right here, this is like Greek yogurt. Let's get them at Costco. They're like less than 75 cents a cup from Costco. So that's, that's Costco prices are good. They're a lot more expensive than most other places. Uh, my, my next meal, my, my first real meal of the day is uh, oatmeal. And uh, for the oatmeal, it's pretty much here we go. Do the uh, Quaker Oats. That is like the 60 second 
the 60 second, one minute oats. That's all it is, you just put some water in it, heat it up in the microwave for a minute. Then I add in a scoop of whey, bam. I really like chocolate for this one. So instead of having to put like cream and sugar and a bunch of high calorie items to make the oatmeal kind of dressed up, chocolate whey adds a whole lot of flavor, protein, uh, and a little bit of like a nice consistency to it. And then on top of that, chop up, an, uh, chop up a banana. And if I want to kind of keep it on the lower side, I'll probably just stick to only about half a cup. And if I am having a little more, it might be more like two thirds or one cup. Uh, and then the banana could be half a banana or it could be a whole banana. So I can kind of play around with that a little bit. Um, I usually just put the one kind of heaping scoop. So it's a little more than the, you know, the 25 grams that come with a scoop of animal whey. Uh, my next couple meals, I'm usually eating a lot of ground beef or turkey and uh, most of the time rice, but some of the time potatoes. I don't usually make the potatoes, so if they're available, I like potatoes, but uh, I mostly just make rice. So if you guys want to make rice, the great thing about rice is if you get a rice cooker, like one of these, you can have your rice ready to go and hot all the time. So if I pop this open, this was rice that I made. I'm not gonna lie, I made this yesterday and I just reheated it this morning. So <laughs> if that grosses you out, uh, too bad. Um, rice is very easy because you could just put in like uh, two cups, hit on and about 30 to 40 minutes later it's ready to go and you have it for uh, at least a day or two if you're like me. <laughs> um, yeah, so at any rate, I will make Monster Mash a la Stan Efferding, uh, which is basically white rice and ground beef. It could be ground bison, it could be ground turkey. Um, and then to kind of, to really make it really appetizing, one, the rice cooker having fresh rice is way better than heating up frozen rice or like refrigerated rice, that I, I detest. So you guys do yourself a favor and buy a rice cooker. <laughs> they're, they're like the best thing ever. Um, because rice is great and I digest it well. So that's another really important factor, you guys. If you have carbs in your diet, um, you're gonna learn. Some of them you digest well, some of them you don't. Um, and I digest carbs and potatoes really well, so that's why I, I kind of stick to those primarily. Rice is just really, 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 really easy. So there we go. And when I make that, guys, this is, this is a huge thing and this is very simple. At first it might seem like you're doing too much, but the reality is, is this is one of the most empowering things that you can have as a bodybuilder is sort of truth, which is the next thing. That is a digital food scale. Again, these are super cheap. You can just order them off Amazon, but a food scale is key because when I put my bowl on there, I'm not gonna make the meal, but this is what happens. I basically, all right, I'm gonna make my lunch, put the bowl on there, scale goes on, put rice. It's hard to measure rice, but I just do about five or six ounces. It's not a lot, but Portion control is kind of the key with, with dieting. I eat all the foods that I like. I don't eat a bunch of BS that's like hard to choke down. Um, I'm not a bodybuilder, I'm a powerlifter, so I only need to be pretty lean. I don't need to be like shredded. That's an entirely different level of uh, dedication. Um, and I'm not, I'm not an expert in that, so I don't know what it takes exactly, but I do know how to get pretty lean <laughs> and how to stay pretty lean, which is, it's gotta be maintainable. So put the rice in. And then I hit the hit the kind of zero button again, and then I measure out I measure out my food. So like right here, today I actually have carnitas, which is just kind of like pork. So that's pretty lean. Even if it wasn't, if I'm a little bit off my a uh, little bit off, I can have that instead, and I'm still pretty close to my macros. But I kind of know, and I dress it up with here's the things: chicken broth, as a salt and makes it basically greased up so it goes down easy. Iodized salt, should always have that on everything. Hot sauce, uh, pepper plant is wonderful. And I like to throw in a bunch of uh, peppers and stuff to make it tasty. So I'm gonna have that several times a day. <laughs> uh, and my, my diet is very enjoyable. So yeah, I have to restrict the amount that I eat, but uh, I put about seven to eight ounces of uh, meat in each of my meals. Um, so it's very easy to get the protein I need and it's also 
because I'm having relatively lean food, but I'm dressing it up with the, the broth and the hot sauce and the peppers, it's like, uh, I'm, not, I'm not really upset about it. So um, yeah, at night I get some, I get these like beer battered fish that Costco sells and I make those, which are kind of high in protein and you know moderate in carbs, but pretty low in fat. Um, and again, it's another kind of excuse for me to just indulge in my hot sauce fetish. So, uh, for that one, I'm, I'm kind of more, uh, hang on a second. There we go. For the, for the fish. I like this one. Yep. You get that at Popeye's, but it's, uh, that's a great hot sauce too. So kind of each of the things I eat, I like a different hot sauce. So, uh, for the turkey, I might put some barbecue sauce on it for the, uh, for the beef. I like my pepper plant. And the pork, I like the pepper plant too, but I put some sriracha on top. So you guys, uh, yeah, there's a lot of ways to add flavor. Hot sauce really just kind of adds salt. It doesn't add a lot of other nutritional, like it doesn't add a lot of macros. So yeah, so that's kind of the key there for me is really portion control and being organized. So I always have my food available to me. Um, and that's just, that's just been something I've been able to kind of maintain all year, just being able to do my meal preps. Um, yeah, for motivation, uh, I had a meat plan, which I just competed in and I, uh, I felt very, very good about. Hit all time PR on my squat. Um, and I was able to compete at 220, which is a low weight class for me, but um, I feel really healthy when I'm, my body weight stays, you know, below 250 and 240 and stuff. So um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy to, to share that with you guys. Uh, I'm sure if there's some questions, I'd love to be able to help, but I'm not, I'm not an expert on dieting. I just have my own experience and kind of the, the, the vast, you know, the, I have another, I guess I've, I've gained a lot of experience, but I don't have a lot of expertise in nutrition. So anyway, hope this helps <laughs> to see you guys.